Waste. Montella Inc. is a full-service waste management company servicing demolition sites, construction projects, factory sites, shopping centers, commercial businesses, and homeowners. Call today at 973-927-2232. Go ahead. Take a deep breath. Oh, nice, huh? That's some clean, fresh air at the perfect temperature. That is good. Who installed the system? ICS. They're the leaders in HVAC. They make the duct work at their own factory, so we even save some money. That's impressive. You recommend them? <laughs> it's ICS for HVAC. I see why. Ah. Hey, Lorraine, go get a big plastic bag. Take some air home with you. Athletic Fields of America in Montville, New Jersey has become an industry leader in synthetic turf. Serving the greater New York, New Jersey, and Eastern PA regions, we have delivered hundreds of both synthetic turf and natural grass sports fields for youth and recreational levels all the way up to the highest standards and requirements of the NCAA. Our goal with every project is to provide our customers with exceptional workmanship, extraordinary service, and professional integrity while constructing a superior product that you can enjoy for years to come. Visit athleticfieldsofamerica.com. Introducing Gemstone Orthodontics, where brilliance meets compassion in crafting your perfect smile. With a board-certified orthodontist, Dr. Patel, your smile is in expert hands. Our commitment to the latest advancements in technology bring precision and comfort to your orthodontic experience. Whether you are considering braces or liners for yourself or for your child, call today at 908-852-9899 or visit us at www.gemstoneortho.com to schedule a complimentary consultation. My room is so cold, my fish froze. Mine's so hot, my sneakers melted. Rooms with different temperatures? That means your HVAC system is outdated and wasting energy. At ICS, we'll install an energy efficient system that provides a constant flow of clean, fresh air at the perfect temperature in every room. You could save money each month, and the price we quote is the price you'll pay. Get a quote today. See why we say ICS for HVAC. I see why. At Paint Paris, we don't just sell paint and paint accessories. We eat, sleep, and breathe it. Not actually, though. That would be weird. With our huge selection of incredible Benjamin Moore paints, choosing the right color and finish can be a big decision. Luckily, with over 40 years of experience, we can answer any question you have. Whether you're a seasoned contractor or a DIYer, we have all the tools you need to get the job done right the first time. Ready for your next project? Visit us at Paint Paris or shop online at paintparis.com. The County College of Morris Foundation Annual Golf Classic is coming to Brook Lake Country Club in Florham Park on Monday, October 16th. Golfers will enjoy 18 holes of golf on one of New Jersey's premier courses between a barbecue lunch spread and a buffet dinner. Registration begins at 11 a.m., giving golfers access to the locker room, driving range, and lunch in the clubhouse before our 1230 shotgun start. At 5 p.m., enjoy an open bar cocktail reception prior to our 6 p.m. dinner and awards program. Proceeds benefit CCM student athletes. Register online at ccm.edu slash foundation slash golf. Choosing a college is a big, big, big deal. But I know I started right, because CCM is in the top 2% of community colleges in the nation. And at County College of Morris, I get to choose over 100 programs. Whether you're just out of high school, like me, exploring career options, like me, or seeking lifelong learning, like me, make CCM your choice, like me. Go big and visit ccm.edu and aspire to be you. At Autosport Acura of Denville, we know you have a lot of choices when it comes to buying your new Acura. So why shop with dealers that don't value your time or place
play games with you. Why not choose a dealership that always values their client's time and has set a benchmark in customer service for nearly 40 years? Make it easy. Choose Autosport Acura of Denville. For sales, service, and a relationship you can rely on, make it easy and choose Autosport Acura of Denville. Attention homeowners, get ready to meet Brandy Brosian of Compass Real Estate. Brandy wants to sell your home with ease and maximize your return on investment, providing a personalized approach that includes deep cleaning, to staging, to professional digital exposure. Brandy's innovative approach provides so much added value that you and your home will feel the VIP difference. Don't wait another day. Reach out to Brandy Brosian today. Do your glory days as a high school athlete feel far behind you? Are memories of being out there competing so clear that you can feel it? But then reality sets in and your stiff back, achy knees, and painful shoulders remind you that it's been years or even decades since you can move that way. Don't worry, the team at Better With Physical Therapy's one-on-one -on -one customized care can help you feel and move better again. Their specialists will find the cause of what's slowing you down and build a plan that will help you realize that your glory days are still ahead of you. you can get better with Better With Physical Therapy located in the Madison YMCA. Request an appointment today at betterwithpt.com. DNA Landscaping. We service all of your lawn care needs. We are a full-service lawn care and landscaping company providing traditional needs such as lawn maintenance, planting, trimming, mulch, tree removal, and stump grinding, as well as landscape design and snow removal. With over 10 years of experience serving Morris and Sussex counties with both residential and commercial properties, call DNA Landscaping at 973-223-5845. George J. Keller and Sons want your house to be the kind of home for all to see. Best roofing, windows, siding too. Great solar and gutters, we're here for you. Our seasoned pros are unsurpassed, so give a call, we'll take your task. Transform your home, that's what we do. So give a call, we're here for you. For roofing, siding, windows and solar, we do it all for you. George J. Keller and Sons. Your family owned operation since 1980. Call for your free estimate. I enjoy helping nonprofits achieve their goals and really accomplish their mission, namely by nurturing my relationship with them, their staff, their donors, their volunteers, and their board members. I think the key to being trusted is really transparency. What I've seen time and time again is that when you give anything the right conditions, the support, the autonomy, trust, your full attention, it will thrive. This is as true for my clients and for my colleagues as it is for myself here at WIS. Maximum Health Physical Therapy is an individually owned practice with offices in Bud Lake and Long Valley, New Jersey. Our licensed therapists use hands-on manual therapy and are actively involved in our patients' progress. We use a collaborative team approach which benefits our patients and we accept most insurance plans, including Medicare. We offer ARPWAVE Neurotherapy, which accelerates healing 10 times faster, drastically decreases chronic pain, is FDA approved, and is covered by most insurance companies. Please visit us at Max MaximumHealthPT.com and regain the life you love. At Pasquarella Brothers, we love creating great food for our customers. Everything is made daily using real fresh ingredients and you can taste the difference. We specialize in creating gluten-free options for our customers, all prepared in a separate area so there's no cross-contamination. We also pride ourselves on providing unparalleled catering for events big and small. We love what we do. Stop into Pasquarella Brothers, you'll taste the difference. If you live in Andover, Blairstown, Byram, Frankfurt, Franklin, Frieden, Freelingheisen, Green, Hampton, Hardwick, Hope, Knowlton, Lafayette, Newton, Sparta, Stillwater, Sussex, and Wantage. Planet Networks is building high-speed fiber in your neighborhood. Visit GetPlanetFiber.com today to learn more. Hmm. Oh.
actually used to be deathly afraid of public speaking. I intentionally became an adjunct professor teaching tax, and I also became a Zumba instructor as a way of overcoming this fear of mine. They're both forms of leading and teaching in their own right. Bottom line though, WISP supports my passions. I truly believe that WISP wants me to be the best version of myself, and it's such an amazing feeling that I truly have the freedom to do that here. I was born fast. Parisi made me faster. I thought I could jump. Parisi brought me to new heights. I wasn't always quick. Parisi made me lightning fast. Strength was never my strength. Parisi changed all that. The green wave isn't just what we call ourselves. It represents all we are called to. Let's go! We strive for excellence in mind, body, and spirit. We put in the work in programs that test us, guide us to the colleges we pursue. We live true to putting others before ourselves, to the lifelong connections we've made. This is the spirit and strength we are called to. Roll wave. Sussex Meatpacking in Wharton, New Jersey is a family-owned and operated business specializing in USDA prime and choice meats, pork, poultry, lamb, veal, and many other store-made specialty items. They also have a fantastic deli, a wonderful market with all the freshest fruits, veggies, and pre-made meals, and they can cater any event, including your family holiday dinners, more delicious than you can on your own. Visit them at sussexmeat.com. Brian, we just got a text from your wife. She wants to trade in her car for something else. Chief, I'm a little busy. Uh, she wants it now. Explain to me how I'm going to do that. We got fast lane, Brian. The fast what? Fast lane. Bring her in. This is us? Paul Miller Fast Lane? Who else would do it? Buy a car, trade a car, finance a car, have it delivered completely online. This is so easy. She could have done it herself. She said you're the car guy, Brian. Isn't that the truth? It's the fast lane, winner. It's the only way to fly. That's fast lane. Now we by Paul Miller. That is the Paul Miller difference. Jen Basilino of the Kosha Real Estate Group, LLC, is a Morris County top real estate agent and New Jersey Circle of Excellence award winner year over year that takes the time and care to understand your real estate needs and concerns. She's extremely successful in representing clients in selling and purchasing a home, new construction, townhouses, million dollar homes, rentals, and even commercial properties. Call her today at 973-202-2103. WISC gives me the freedom to be entrepreneurial, innovative. I feel supported to bring 100% of myself and my personality to work each and every day. I'm the CEO of WISC Family Office. I have two amazing children. I'm the daughter of French and Italian immigrants. Above all, I'm someone who derives strength and confidence from my ability to connect with others, and I strive to make a difference in their lives. The perks that come with working here, I would say that the most valuable thing WIS offers is freedom. The freedom to make the most of your role, to really go beyond the job description, the freedom to think differently and be rewarded for it, and the freedom to show up as 100% who you are. This game is brought to you by Aaron Mizzarelli of State Farm in Randolph. My licensed and experienced team members are here to serve you for all of your insurance and financial service needs in New Jersey and New York. We offer excellent customer service and our office is conveniently located in Randolph, New Jersey. For a free auto, home, life, or business quote, visit us at AaronMizzarelli.com or call us at 973-389-9999. Contact Mary Camito for an auto quote today. Calling all 
parents of young athletes. Did you know that safe medication disposal not only protects your young athletes, but also the environment they play in? Be a proactive guardian. Safeguard your home by disposing of medications properly through drop-off sites in New Jersey, located at most police departments and designated pharmacies. By doing so, you help prevent pollution of our precious environment, ensuring clean waterways and healthier surroundings for your young champions. Make a positive impact on their lives and the planet. Safely dispose of unused and unwanted medications today. At Planet Networks, our high-speed fiber is designed to be fast. Up to 300 times faster than cable and up to 500 times faster than DSL. As fast as 10,000 megabits per second up and down if you speak nerd. We're talking cheetah, bullet train, lightning strike, hummingbird, race car kind of fast. Planet Networks. So fast, it's worth the wait. Inc. is a family-owned dumpster rental business located in Stanhope, New Jersey that's been around since 1984. We provide prompt, quality service at a reasonable price for our New Jersey customers, whom we consider our family. We don't just take out the trash. Montella Inc. is a full-service waste management company servicing demolition sites, construction projects, factory sites, shopping centers, commercial businesses, and homeowners. Call today at 973-927-2232. Go ahead, take a deep breath. Oh, nice, huh? That's some clean, fresh air at the perfect temperature. That is good, who installed the system? ICS, they're the leaders in HVAC. They make the duct work at their own factory, so we even save some money. That's impressive. You recommend them? <laughs> it's ICS for HVAC. I see why. Ah. Hey Lorraine, go get a big plastic bag. Take some air home with you. Athletic Fields of America in Montville, New Jersey has become an industry leader in synthetic turf. Serving the greater New York, New Jersey, and Eastern PA regions, we have delivered hundreds of both synthetic turf and natural grass sports fields for youth and recreational levels all the way up to the highest standards and requirements of the NCAA. Our goal with every project is to provide our customers with exceptional workmanship, extraordinary service, and professional integrity while constructing a superior product that you can enjoy for years to come. Visit athleticfieldsofamerica.com. Introducing Gemstone Orthodontics, where brilliance meets compassion in crafting your perfect smile. With a board-certified orthodontist, Dr. Patel, your smile is in expert hands. Our commitment to the latest advancements in technology bring precision and comfort to your orthodontic experience. Whether you are considering braces or liners for yourself or for your child, call today at 908-852-9899 or visit us at www.gemstoneortho.com to schedule a complimentary consultation. My room is so cold, my fish froze. Mine's so hot, my sneakers melted. Rooms with different temperatures? That means your HVAC system is outdated and wasting energy. At ICS, we'll install an energy efficient system that provides a constant flow of clean, fresh air at the perfect temperature in every- The goal, we reset, and TJ Santeda has it for the Vikings. Santeda brings it right past two defenders. Look at the speed in the open ice. Santeda, great stick handling, great shot. Here's Carlotti, oh! in the end zone, it is caught. Charge, good for the pass, here's a shot, right in front, score. And that is a base hit, the run will score. And Freshman, pull the check, gets the strike. Anthony Grosso is gonna make sure that the Wolfpack fans go home happy. Grosso for three, he got it! <laughs> It's a beautiful night in Bernardsville, New Jersey, as the Delaware Valley Terriers come to Bernardsville to take on the Bernards Mountaineers. 
here on Morris Sussex Sports. I'm Charlie Brooks alongside Dave McCarthy. And first, we'd like to thank our sponsors for tonight's broadcast before we get things underway. Today is Teal Out Day in support of Ovarian Cancer Awareness. Please visit F4MMC.org or to donate, scan the QR code on the screen. Enter Friday Night Lights in the optional comments section and scroll to Women's Cancer Fund in the designation section. All donations benefit the Women's Cancer Fund at the Foundation for Morristown Medical Center. Feel it and teal it this September. The Bearded Dragon is your ultimate destination for games and gaming. Located at 123 Claremont Road in Burnettsville, New Jersey. Call 908-502-5112 or visit thebeardeddragongames.com. And Jay Walker Salon, look good, feel fabulous. When your outer looks good, your inner feels better. Locations in Bernardsville, Basking Ridge, and Menda. Call 908-766-4411 or visit jaywalkersalon.com. And by Rollmark Logistics, personalized service always. Pioneers in the supply chain and logistics market, we lead with innovation and best-in-class talent while well, always in touch with the human side of business. Visit RomarkLogistics.com or call 908-789-2800. Also, Vaccaro Aesthetic and Family Dentistry. We create beautiful smiles for a lifetime. Located at 661 Shunpike Road, Suite 1 in Green Village, Chatham, New Jersey. You can visit VaccaroAesthetic.com or call 973-377-8811. And finally, by Jennifer Liming and Kenlin Lotman in Sotheby's International Realty. It has been said that the difference between a good thing and a great thing is attention to detail. That is what you expect from me as your agent. The details in presenting your home may not seem like a big thing, but trust me, they are everything. We have one chance to make a first impression, and you can always count on me to go the extra mile. Call me and let me be the key to the home of your dreams, 201-960-5109, or, or visit jenniferliming.klsir.com. So a thank you to all of our sponsors. We'll take a moment for the national anthem and then be back opening kickoff, Delaware Valley and Bernard's right after this.
And we are back. Couple of plays so far for Delaware Valley offensively and last play a ball on the ground, but the visitors recovered. Charlie Brooks alongside David McCarthy, a third and long coming up for the visitors. A big play already trying to avoid a bad first drive on the road. Rolling to the outside, going deep down the sideline, pull in. And which direction will it go? It's an interception for Bernards. The Mountaineers get the ball at the sideline. That's a great job defensively. Great way to go up. Uh, this Sabato. Great way to go up and battle for that ball over the uh, taller receiver. Great interception. Ball intended for Keith Pullen. And that's an interception, the first of the season for Milo DeSabato, the senior, as now the offense comes out for Bernard's. Their stern quarterback, Connor Laverty, out of the shotgun. Man in motion. Laverty pulls it to the near sideline, trying to go down the sideline, and that's a toe tap. It's caught by the number nine, Jack Mora. One play, one first down for Bernards. Heck of a throw and catch there by Laverty to, to Mora. Uh, they, they love rolling out. Uh, Laverty is a southpaw, so they, they love rolling out to the left and um, just threw it right on the money. Nice completion. One play, one first down as Slaverty is out of the shotgun again with one man behind in this formation. Laverty holds it over the middle. It's an easy catch and dragged down inside the 10 is the receiver for Bernards and that's a great play. Finds the number 12 of Max Austin. Terrific play action. Um, and that slant was wide open. That, that caused uh, uh, confusion in the second video for Del Val. Actually, that's Brandon yeah. Schaefer. My apologies on that catch as all of a sudden it's first wide open and 10 from about the 10 as Laverty is brought down behind the line of scrimmage. Big play from the number 18 of Justin Colmer. Laverty brought down for a loss. Colmer crashed in there, just big play for uh, Delval. They needed that. With the sack. Second sack of the season for Colmer. Loss of about four, it's second down. And a loss of four brings the ball back to about the 14 yard line. Still in the red zone though, are the hosts. Here's the first run of the game. It's Jake Caldwell, gets to the edge and gets into the end zone. It's a rushing touchdown for Jake Caldwell. An interception turns into points for the Mountaineers. Caldwell showing some uh, speedy wheels on that one. It was a nice end run around the end there. And uh, breaks a tackle, gets in, hits the pylon, gets in. Great so opening drive. Very quick opening drive results in six points as the kicker is on for the extra point. The kick is up and it is good. So Ochab is successful on the extra point and it's seven nothing for Bernards over Delaware Valley as the defense will come back out Second drive offensively for Delaware Valley. That's quite the opposite of the start that Delaware Valley wanted. Yeah, turnovers will kill you, and any coach will tell you. And um, it, the deep back to, to Sabato for um, Burners just made a tremendous interception to um, get the ball with great field position. And impressive drive by that offense. La Laverty impressed me with his arm. It's a couple of pinpoint passes and a nice uh, run around the end by uh, Caldwell and uh, it's 7-0. For Caldwell, his third rushing touchdown this season and that brings him close to 200 yards on the ground. Just short of 
the 200 yard mark for the 5'9 senior running back. As there is a flag on this kickoff attempt. And it was just too quick of a start from the kicking unit for Bernard, so they will have to come back five yards further back this time for the kickoff. Looks like Jonas Gonzalez is the kicker for Bernard's this season. He had a good boot on the first attempt, but there was the flag. Let's see what they can do on this one. That's a line drive. Picked up on the ground, a little bit of a stumble, but back to his feet is the number 12 of Michael Holsworth and is brought down just short of the 30. They'll mark him at the 28 yard line. So Luke Brogan and the offense will come back out. Brogan threw his fifth interception of the season on the last drive. Was not a bad pass at all, but it was just a really good job by the defender. It was a great job just uh, um, battling for the ball by uh, uh, climbing the ladder there to come down with that interception. Brogan under center, hands the ball off and immediately snatched up behind the line of scrimmage. That was a great job by the Bernard's defensive line blowing that play up. Cohen on the carry. Very active yep. so far has been Poland on the offense, but a couple of yeah. runs that haven't worked and a pass that was directed his way and was intercepted. David Brothers there made a terrific job setting the edge and just not letting uh, anything around him. Nice play by Brothers. Jimmy Conroy now alongside his quarterback man in motion. It's a designed quarterback keeper and back to the original line of scrimmage is all Brogan can get as it will bring up a third and 10. The second third and long already for Delaware Valley. Yeah, you want to try to avoid these third and longs if you can help it if you're um, Delaware. Delaware Valley based out of Frenchtown, New Jersey, just about a 40 minute drive south from here in Bernardsville for this divisional matchup. Brogan trying to maybe catch a player offside. Goes back to the sideline to get the call as we have a whistle and a timeout called by Bernards. So they will blow their first timeout with 7-10 left in the first quarter and a third and 10 coming up. And I think that's one of those where the defense just wants to take a moment to make sure the right players are on the field, the right play call is getting out to the players on the field and it's being translated to everyone on that defensive line in secondary. Yeah, they get the uh, Del Val offense had a uh, spread look there. They were doing a lot more uh, pro eye look earlier. So they're multiple offense and um, Burners wants to talk things over. Seven nothing early on for Bernards. The team currently sitting atop of the Big Central Patriot Gold Division. But this game could be huge in implications for this division as you have the two and one Delaware Valley Terriers who are all, are one and oh themselves in division. Their only loss so far was out of division against New Providence last weekend. Yeah, it's de definitely a big league game, Charlie. Uh, for sure, this is good rivalry and um, big uh, for league standings. Brogan out of the shotgun over the middle and caught and falling forwards is Eric Klemmer. And it's the first first down of the game for the visitors. Yeah, that was a great catch by Klemmer. He really, uh, wow, he really got up there and 
was not an easy uh, catch to bring to haul in. That, nice sh job. that should bring Clemmer to 200 yards receiving this season already to go along with his three touchdowns. The star receiver for this team as they go to the sideline for, for Clemmer again. He's definitely over 200 yards receiving now as he picks up another first down. They go back to the big receiver and all of a sudden it's a good drive for the Terriers. Yeah, Brogan really put some mustard on that pass because that was well covered also and uh, another great catch by Clemmer showing uh, really fine hands. This team was trailing 23-3 after three quarters against New Providence and thanks to Clemmer they got back into that game lost 23-16 as they have a run up the middle that was almost the fullback type of formation. That power formation picks up a couple of yards on first down. Positive yardage is always something you look for as an offense. That was Jimmy Conroy taking the handoff. He's lined up in that sort of fullback position with Poland at the running back spot. After a gain of three, handoff to Poland, right up the middle, and he picks up about two. That will bring up third and maybe four coming up. This ball at the Bernard's 40-yard line after starting at their own 28. Yeah, Delval, um, Trying to see what they can get up the middle. They have a big offensive line, averages about 250 or 260, so they're going to try to uh, run between the guards, tackles there. Shotgun formation. Brogan goes back towards the sideline, looking for Clemmer again, but this time it's incomplete. And this is decision making territory now for Coach Iback and this Delaware Valley team. Fourth and four from the opposing 40 yard line. You're outside of field goal range, but this is also a tough spot to punt from. The offense as of now is staying on the field. So they are lining up to go for it on fourth down from the Bernard's 40. Two receivers to the left, one, two receivers to the right and one running back. Brogan looks for a receiver, finds a man, and that's an easy pickup on fourth down. A great job by Delaware Valley executing on that play. Yeah, that was a, another good pass by uh, Brogan. He's impressing me with his arm strength. Really fitted in a tight spot there where it had to be. Looked like it was Clemmer again on the reception. You can see Brogan and Clemmer, they have a very good relationship on that field. Yeah, he's clearly his go-to guy and he feels comfortable uh, in big, you know, third, fourth downs there uh, uh, going to him to move the chains. Man in motion, roll out to the right, to the sideline and it's caught. Although falling to the ground was Will Wekeser, one of their only receivers who's caught passes that doesn't have a touchdown, but he is over 150 yards receiving this season, and that was a pickup of eight on first down. down. Nice roll out there by uh, Brogan. The ball at the 25-yard line. Both quarterbacks do a lot of similar things, uh, except Laverty's a, a lefty and uh, Brogan's a righty. They're very similar. They really run both of these offenses well. Brogan with Conroy to his left, man in motion. It's a quarterback keep, designed quarterback run, and it picks up the first down, a gain of about four on that carry, and it's first and 10 from the 21-yard line just outside of the red zone. Nice drive here for Del Val. They needed to answer, answer back uh, Bernard's, and... Uh, it's a nice drive, a little bit of everything on this drive. This Delval team, a 27-9 win over Rossell, a 28-7 win over Voorhees before that 23-16 loss in their last game. 
This is when the competition gets tough, though. Once you get into divisional play and you need a big bounce back after the opening drive interception, handoff blown up right at the line of scrimmage. Just getting back, though, is Poland. And it brings up a second and about 10. Good job by the uh, DN there for uh, Bernard's uh, uh, keeping contain. Just uh, wrapping up, making a nice tackle on that play. Coach Simino on this near sideline trying to get his defense to stand tall inside and around this red zone. At least force your visitors into a field goal is the goal for this defense. Is Brogan gets to the outside, around a defender, throws to the end zone, and it is knocked away. A great job by the defender. That's once again the number 11 of Milo De Sabato. An interception and a pass break up in the end zone in this first quarter. Great coverage by, by De Sabato. Um, man. Saved the touchdown. That was almost a perfect pass. But De Sabato in the right spot at the right time to knock it away and keep this game 7-0. So great awareness uh, where the ball was. Didn't, didn't lose track of the ball and uh, really uh, stepped up big there. Especially as a cornerback. It's never easy to get your head turned around on that sort of play. You don't want to lose the player you're defending. Second and, or third and 10, I should say. The ball towards the sideline incomplete. And now let's see if the field goal unit will come out for Delaware Valley or if they will go for it again on fourth down. Intended for Always tough at the high school level from this yard line to make the decision for a, a field goal attempt, which is pretty far out. Relatively far out. For yeah, it would a, be about a 37, 38 yarder from here. Um, now all teams obviously have that leg on their team. So right now it looks like the offense will stay out. Ball on the Bernards, 21, fourth and 10. Coming up for Delaware Valley. Man in motion. Rolling, still rolling. Trying to truck a defender and then the defense comes over to help. And it's just back to the line of scrimmage, but that's not enough as this will be a turnover on downs. So after all that drive, all that momentum offensively. De Sabado with the big pass break up in the end zone. And the defense does the job and gets off the field with no points conceded. Yeah, that, the um, Bernard's defense was not fooled on that on that play. Uh, uh, broken, just really had nowhere to go. It was just a great job by the, uh, the defense stringing that out and uh, getting the big stop on fourth down. So Bernard's will take over on their own 22 yard line. With Connor Laverty, their quarterback, back out. Hand off on the first play and picks up about three or four on first down. It's a good job falling forward by the running back, Patrick Carlisle. Only a freshman. Carlisle only a freshman, getting a lot of playing time here. Two receivers to the right, one to the left here on second and medium. It's a pitch. Looking for some space and tackled short of the first down. That is Logan Stevens on that carry. Brings up third and two. Nice tackle there by Anderson Alcott. Uh, very high on him. Terrific uh, defender, linebacker, lines up a bunch of different spots there for him. Re really a uh, fine all-around player. Was a leading tackler by far last year. Makes plays all over the field. Great wrestler too. So a third and short for Bernard's on their own side of the field. Man in motion. It's the rollout. Pass back to the other side on the screen and almost breaking it but brought down short of the first down marker. Was the number three of Jake Caldwell and now there's a Offensive decision for Bernard's fourth and one. 
A great job by their defense swarming to that play. Yeah, that was that was Olcott again. Uh, he was not letting uh, that back out of his grasp right there. This is the smart decision. Fourth and one, punted away. You don't want to give the opposition starting field at your 30-yard line. We have a whistle. Quarter. And, oh, sorry, that end of the quarter, yes. So after one, it's Bernard seven, Delaware Valley zero. And we'll see when Bernard's come back out. Will they punt the ball away? Or will they go it for it on fourth and one? We'll be right back here on more Sussex Sports. And the price we quote is the price you'll pay. Get a quote today. See why we say ICS for HVAC. I see why. And welcome back. The two teams just about ready to get play restarted for this second quarter. A game in which Bernard's leads early 7-0 thanks to a Jake Caldwell rushing touchdown. They will go for it, at least lined up to do so on fourth and one to start this quarter. The handoff up the middle, pushing forward. It's a first down for Bernard's. That's risky on your own 30 yard line, but they pick it up with Stevens and it's a Bernard's first down. Gutsy call there by coach uh, Simino. Um, line just got enough of a surge and uh, Stevens uh, weaved a bit and uh, just enough for the first. So before the end of the first quarter, they were lined up to punt and then they changed their minds in between quarters and it's a new set of downs. Handoff to Stevens. Pushing forward and Stevens still on his feet, taken down on the Delaware Valley 49. A big run there by Logan Stevens. Yeah, nice, really uh, showed a nice, nice burst, uh, uh, quick feet. Really uh, uh, weaved in and out of traffic there. Nice play. So Logan Stevens with a fantastic start to the second quarter. It's a real rotation of running backs at Bernard's. They have a couple they can sting you at any time. Caldwell, Stevens, the two, the two-headed beast as some may call them. Man in motion. Laverty trying to go deep and down the sideline overthrown. Just unable to hit his receiver. That was Jake Caldwell looking for his second touchdown of the game, this time through the air, but Laverty just couldn't hit it. Yeah, that was close. I mean, that was, uh, the speedy Caldwell had a step on the defender and uh, just slightly overthrown. So on that play, it was Caldwell who came across the formation in motion and almost ran just went on a, that was just a fly a flat, pattern. Just that a fly, was a fly, yeah. Just in motion, just tried to use his speed to uh, 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 get past the defender. Caldwell in motion again. Laverty under pressure right away, and it's a screen to Stevens. Stevens will pick up a gain of about eight on first down. So they sent Caldwell one way sent the screen the other direction. And although it doesn't pick up a first down, it does the job and puts them in a good situation on third down. Yeah, Ber Berners does, does a lot of different things on uh, offense. They'll, uh, they can hurt you in a lot of ways. So they're, they're uh, hitting uh, Ooh. Ball on the ground, Laverty picks it up, and Laverty is down at the 45, a loss of a couple of yards. So now the punting unit will come out. That was just a bad snap 
by the center, unfortunately. And so finally, they will punt it away after going for it earlier. And Noah Ochab will come on to punt this one away just a couple of minutes into the second quarter. Could be a good break there for Delval. That's a high ball. Will dribble inside the five and down at the one yard line. What a roll. Wow. Wow. What a great punt by Ochab there for Bernards. And now all of a sudden, this offense has to start from their own one. Bernards did force one safety in their last game. A 30 to six win over Voorhees. That safety was caused by Mitch Dakin. So they're looking for back-to-back -back games with a safety with this offense pinned deep. They will line up under center. And it's a quarterback keep. And able to get back to the line of scrimmage, maybe pick up one. I think they'll give him that yard. You had a little fo forward progress about a, for about a yard. Defense was signaling for the safety, but obviously that was never going to be the call because the quarterback got himself out of the end zone and picked up a gain of one on the play, according to the officials. So it's... Second and nine from the two-yard line. Let's see if they go for the same play call with the quarterback under center in Brogan. Brogan once again pushes himself forwards. And that should maybe gain another one or two yards. They'll give him two. And so it brings up a third. And about six or seven. They'll make it third and six from the five. So he picked up three on that play. And that opens the playbook up just a little bit. A little bit. I look, look like a, a rugby scrum uh, there in the middle of the field just to try to get a little more uh, real estate for uh, Delval to operate in. They have a pretty big offensive line. Averages at least 250 across the board and uh, tried to get a surge. Of course, he, Charlie Brooks alongside Dave McCarthy, the author of the McCarthy Report. Third and six from their own five-yard line, broken unters, under center. Two receivers to his right. Man goes in motion. It's a handoff to that player. Can he get the angle? He's brought down by that nameplate, essentially. And that will bring up fourth down and should bring on the punting unit for DelVal. Max Austin credited with the tackle there to stop what could have been a first down, picked up two. Good and job not letting the, the uh, back for um, DelVal to get outside. He had some room. So now trying to punt this one away, the number 78 of Mike Gohill. And it's blocked, picked up. Let's see who has it. There's a scrum. And Bernards, either way, will get possession. And looks like it will be picked up at the 10-yard line. So a messy play there. Let's see who had the ball, it's Bernards. They come away with it, and they will take over at just around the 10 yard line. See if we can pull up a replay of that. Fortunately, we don't have it, but a great play by special teams for Bernards. And a really good chance for them to extend this lead even further. Big special teams play there by uh, Bernards. Just got enough. They just, uh, I couldn't see who, who it was, but just got enough on the ball to uh, uh, get a hand on it. 
Laverty, and there's a player that jumps for Delaware Valley. So first and 10 becomes first and five. As that should be about a, uh, a half the distance to the goal penalty. If the referees had mics, that's what they would be saying. So first and five from just around the six or seven yard line. Laverty out of the shotgun with two receivers to the right, one to the left. And a running back in the backfield. Laverty keeps it himself, gets around one player, jukes, jukes again. There's some flags on the ground. There's three flags coming in as Laverty's brought down short, but this one may be coming back. I tell you, La Laverty shows good, uh, <laughs> he's a good runner as well as a good passer. Show good athleticism on that just to avoid a couple of tacklers. Some laundry on the field and the offense moving backwards. So that's a holding call going against Bernard's. There was a penalty against Bernard's. So it's first and now 14 from the 14 yard line. Interestingly, the referee never signaled for a penalty. He just picked up the laundry and walked off, and everyone just knew it was a hold on the field. And that's a new one as Laverty rolling to his left, back to his right. There's another flag down as that one's thrown to the end zone out of play, and let's see what this flag is. Another hold, back-to-back -back holds against Bernard's offensive line. And a drive that started on the 10-yard line is now all the way back on the 25. Yeah, getting a little sloppy here. Ber Bernard's uh, doesn't want to be moving backwards. Moving the wrong direction on this drive after... The start of this drive was a offside on the first before the first play and then back-to-back -back holding calls. So we've got three flags on this drive alone as Laverty going to the sideline overthrows his receiver. Not a bad throw, but just over the hands of Jack Mora. Yeah, just a little too, a little too high. Mora was wide open. Nice throw, just a tad too high. So it is second and 22. Second down from the 25. 5.33 left here in half number one. Bernard's up seven nothing after a first drive rushing touchdown from Jake Caldwell. Offense trying to get things going now. Throw towards the end zone. There's a receiver there. And just unable to haul it in at the back of the end zone. And it brings up a third and very long. They were going for it all there. I mean, receiver had a step, just kind of ran out of uh, end zone. That's back-to-back -back throws intended for Mora. The junior wide receiver listed at six foot two. Sometimes he can be six foot two and he can still be overthrown yeah, by the quarterback. Just, just a little bit. Um, I'm impressed with that Ber Bernard's offense. They they have a lot of kids who uh, they get involved. Who, you know they get a lot of receivers involved, a lot of backs involved. It's a very uh, it's a very diverse offense. Tough to stop. Third and twenty two for Bernard's man in motion. And it's a keeper. Mm. And losing the ball, who's got it? It looks like Laverty was able to recover it himself. A pickup of about three, and it will bring out the field goal unit from the 22 yard line. And they will bring out their kicker. 
after that play by Laverty. He definitely lost the ball, but he regained it himself. It. Yeah, good, good job by Connor getting that ball back. But uh, this is big here for Burners. They, they got the ball on the uh, block punt on the 10 or so. They really want to get points here, come away with some points. Jonas Gonzalez lining up for the field goal. The kick is up. Plenty of leg. Is it good? It is. Nice kick. It's a 10-0 lead for Bernards at home. So although the drive may have sputtered, there's still points on the scoreboard for the Bernards Mountaineers. And we'll yeah. once again take a moment to thank our sponsors for tonight's broadcast with this game sitting at 10-0. A reminder, today is Teal Out Day in support of ovarian cancer awareness. Please visit f4mmc.org or to donate, scan the QR code on the screen right now. Enter Friday Night Lights in the optional comment section and scroll to Women's Cancer Fund in the designation section. All donations benefit the Women's Cancer Fund. All donations at the Foundation for Morris Town Memorial Medical Center. Feel it and teal it this September. As well as the Bearded Dragon is your ultimate destination for games and gaming. Located at 123 Claremont Road in Bernardsville, New Jersey. Call 908-502-5112 or visit thebeardeddragongames.com. As well as Jay Walker Salon. Look good, feel fabulous. When your outer looks good, your inner feels better. Locations in Bernardsville, Basking Ridge, and Mendham. Call 908-766-4411 or visit jwalkersalon.com. Once again, a big thanks to our sponsors. None of this would be possible without them as the ensuing kickoff and nice Delaware look. Valley will get some decent field position to start off their third drive of the game. Yeah, the, ni nice, nice job. Ni nice leg there by Gonzalez. Uh, it was a big, big that they uh, Bernard's got some points on that. It was a uh, 40 plus yarder, which was not is not easy on the high school level. And uh, great job on the touchback. 4:38 left in this second quarter, with Delaware Valley looking for some points before halftime. Dropping back is Brogan under pressure and is able to evade it for the moment, but then snagged by the defensive line, and it's a big sack, losing about five yards. Fortunate, Brogan, fortunate he uh, got that back, because. Dangerous play there for Delval. Second down, and 14. Second and 14, they'll say. So a 40-yard loss on that sack. Could have been a lot worse, though, as he evaded the original pressure. Ball on their own 16. Delaware Valley with Brogan at quarterback and Jimmy Conroy standing next to him. Man in motion. And it will roll the other way. Almost sacked, but throws across his body, and the man is wide open. Right down the sideline goes Wekeser, and it's a first down for Delaware Valley. He was left all alone after going in motion. Yeah. Great job by Brogan there, finding we Wekeser. Avoiding the pass rush, it was a, wow. Avoiding the pass rush, finding the open man near the sideline, and uh, good job by Wekeser. Getting what he could. That could have been huge with back-to-back -back sacks, putting them very deep in their own part of the field. Brogan showed great awareness avoiding that rush because that uh, uh, Bernards was coming uh, hard and heavy on that one. So a new set of downs for Brogan in the offense. Blown up play, and Brogan gets taken down behind the line of scrimmage. It looked like he thought his running back was right next to him. It turns out he wasn't there, so then Broken had to bring it down and lost one on that play. Number 40 again, David Brothers having a big game, crashing down and uh, causing havoc. And uh, I believe that was Logan Marks was also in on that. So the big, uh, <clears throat> big play guys for Bernards are uh, showing up on this drive. Offense just trying to get a play call in right now for Delaware Valley on that far sideline. Coach Ben Iback, the coach this season for this Terrier squad. 
Looking to stay above 500 after that, oh, their first loss of the season last weekend against New Providence. Brogan going back to throw down the sideline, intercepted. It's a great interception by Caldwell, who's still on his feet. Caldwell down the sideline. Caldwell, can he make Brogan miss? He cannot. The quarterback brings him down, but it will be Bernard's ball. First and goal coming up for the Mountaineers, and Caldwell's having a great first half. Yeah, what, what a uh, great interception. And very instinctive play there by Caldwell. On the return, showing some speeds, like the uh, slot back that he is. Slot receiver, that, and uh, wow, big return down to about the 10. Turnovers have been a big part of this first half for uh, Burners. They will mark the ball down at exactly the 10. First and goal with 1.48 left in the half, and that's two interceptions in this half for Brogan. Thrown into double coverage, and Caldwell, the safety, came over to snatch it. First down, goal to go. So what can the offense do on this possession? Laverty hands it off and just able to get back to the original line of scrimmage is Patrick Carlisle. Patrick Carlisle Their one touchdown so far today, a rushing touchdown from Jake Caldwell in the first quarter in their first drive of the game. This is their second straight drive where they've started in and around the 10 yard line. Last time they only went backwards and were forced into a field goal which they made. The offense taking its time with the clock ticking down. You don't want to give the ball back to Delaware Valley with that much time left, but you also want to put points on the board. Laverty out of the shotgun. And he will pitch it. And into the end zone. Logan Stevens extends the lead for Bernards. Their second rushing touchdown of the half. Good job. Logan Stevens. Good job by the right side of the uh, line there for, for uh, Bernards. Nice job by Logan Ritchie sealing off. Stevens just crosses the plane. And it was a good job by Aiden Gribben, the number 17, good. listed as a quarterback. But he was on that offensive line and helped open some space for Stevens. Yeah, they had their uh, heavy uh, package in there. And the extra point. It is good. And the lead is 17, nothing burners with 52 seconds left in the half. Turnovers, 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 turnovers. Uh, been the story of the first half, just just Ber Bernard's has uh, capitalized on them. Capitalized, they have indeed 14 points off of interceptions, another three points off of a blocked punt. The defense and special teams winning the day for Bernard so far. As we are 52 seconds away from halftime. In this matchup between two Patriot Gold division rivals. So the kicker is back out to get us back underway. It's been a good game for Gonzalez so far. He's had that field goal made. He's two for two on extra points. Nothing more you can ask from a kicker is that's a Decent kick, it will roll into the end zone for a touchback after Conroy originally wanted to pick it up. So, Brogan all of a sudden after throwing two interceptions has to find something before this clock hits halftime. Of course, Bernards will receive the ball to start the second half. First down for the Carriers. The first possession first the of the game was for 
this Delaware Valley team, that opening drive interception. One of two thrown today by their quarterback, Brogan. Man in motion, Brogan back to throw over the middle and he finds his number one target in Eric Clemmer. Decent gain there on first down. They'll give him seven. Quick slants like that, tough to, tough to defend against. So good, good pick up for uh, Delval. Try to get something going here before the half. Clock is running, 30 seconds left in the half. This Delaware Valley team has to go quickly if they want points before halftime. Brogan over the middle again, and once again caught by a teammate, and that is number 11 of Keith Pollen. as the offense will take a timeout with 16 seconds left in the half, trailing 17 nothing, and a good timeout called by the coach Iback. Delval has to be careful here. Um, don't want to go, you know, you're down 17 nothing now. Don't, really don't want to throw a pick six or anything like that. They've had their share of turnovers already, so they should be careful here. The issue is, even we've seen so far, they've struggled to get the ball into field goal position. When they got it to the 20 earlier in this first half, they decided to go for it on fourth and 10 instead of the field goal attempt. So obviously their hope is to try and get into the end zone. 16 seconds though, you have to force it down the field and that's where you mentioned it can get a little sloppy. The, the last throw on the previous drive, it was Brogan trying to force it into double coverage Looking for Clemmer. Burners has an opportunistic defense, so they've got to be careful. Good pass rush. And down goes Brogan, although picked up by a teammate who runs towards the first down marker. They never marked forward progress down as there's a flag. Hmm. Wow. Crazy play. Yeah. Let's see what the official call is, because Brogan seem. I don't know if he lateraled it forwards or that was a jailbreak by uh <laughs> that's an offensive yes. lineman who yeah. ran away with the ball <laughs> yeah, i'm sure he was wondering how did i get this he didn't expect that that's for sure but the referees okay. didn't expect it either that was a very delayed flag so they're trying to figure out it is a flag against the offense Illegal forward pass hmm. is the call on the field. That will be a loss of down. A loss of down, of course. And with eight seconds, you have to wonder when the clock starts running, they will probably just let it roll out completely. No more plays for Delaware Valley. Don't. A crazy ending to the first half. But it's a half that's been dominated by Bernard so far. They will head into halftime with a 17-0 lead. Don't go anywhere, folks. We'll have halftime performances, I'm sure, by the marching band. There's always good halftime entertainment. You get to watch some good ads. You get to enjoy yourself. Then we'll be back for a second half action here on Morris Sussex Sports. I'm Charlie Brooks alongside Dave McCarthy. Don't go anywhere. Second half football coming up in just a little bit. We eat, sleep, and breathe it. Not actually, though. That would be weird. With our huge selection of incredible Benjamin Moore paints, choosing the right color and finish can be a big decision. Luckily, with over 40 years of experience, we can answer any question you have. Whether you're a seasoned contractor or a DIYer, we have all the tools you need to get the job done right the first time. Ready for your next project? Visit us at Paint Parade or shop online at paintparade.com. The County College of Morris Foundation Annual Golf Classic is coming to Brook Lake Country Club in Florham Park on Monday, October 16th. Golfers will enjoy 18 holes of golf on one of New Jersey's premier courses between a barbecue lunch spread and a buffet dinner. 
Registration begins at 11 a.m., giving golfers access to the locker room, driving range, and lunch in the clubhouse before our 12.30 shotgun start. At 5 p.m., enjoy an open bar cocktail reception prior to our 6 p.m. dinner and awards program. Proceeds benefit CCM student athletes. Register online at ccm.edu slash foundation slash golf. Choosing a college is a big, big, big deal. But I know I started right because CCM is in the top 2% of community colleges in the nation. And at County College of Morris, I get to choose over 100 programs. Whether you're just out of high school, like me, exploring career options, like me, or seeking lifelong learning, like me, make CCM your choice, like me. Go big and visit ccm.edu and aspire to be you. At Autosport Acura of Denville, we know you have a lot of choices when it comes to buying your new Acura. So why shop with dealers that don't value your time or play games with you? Why not choose a dealership that always values their clients' time? The Turner's band staff is led by Director Mark Newman, Assistant Director Jason Snyder, Percussion Director Stephen Tesler, Auxiliary Director Rachel Tesler, the musical arrangers are Paul Murtha, Roger Holmes, and Tony McCutcheon. Our drill designer is Mark Newman, and auxiliary designer, Rachel Tesla. The band is under the student leadership of Mary Strop as drum major, and the band captains are Addison Dunn, Anya Singh, and Betsy Leslie. So it's time to get out that boombox and pop in that 80s mixtape with some of your favorite 80s bands. You've got Any Way You Want It by Journey, Free Strain by Turner's Own Jay Giles Band, 867 5309 Jenny by Kami Two Tone, and We're Not Gonna Take It by Twisted Sister. The Bernard High School Mountaineer Band is proud to present the 2023 show, 80s Mixtape.
to avoid a bad first drive on the road. Rolling to the outside, going deep down the sideline, pull in. And which direction will it go? It's an interception for Bernards. The Mountaineers to about the 14 yard line. Still in the red zone though, are the hosts. Here's the first run of the game. It's Jake Caldwell gets to the edge and gets into the end zone. It's a rushing touchdown for Jake Caldwell. An interception turns into points. And against New Providence last weekend. Yeah, it's de definitely a big league game, Charlie. Uh, for sure, this is good rivalry and uh, big uh, for league standings. Rogan out of the shotgun over the middle and caught and falling forwards is Eric Klemmer. Punt. And then they change their minds in between quarters. And it's a new set of downs. Handoff to Stevens. Pushing forward and Stevens still on his feet, taken down on the Delaware Valley 49. A big run there by third and 22 for Bernards. Man in motion. And it's a keeper. And losing the ball. Who's got it? It looks like Laverty was able to recover it himself. Here, come away with some points. Jonas Gonzalez lining up for the field goal. The kick is up. Plenty of leg. Is it good? It is. Nice kick. It's a 10-0 lead for Bernard. It's at home. So although the drive may have sputtered, there's still points on the scoreboard for the Burn. Man in motion. And it will roll the other way. Almost sacked, but throws across his body, and the man is wide open. Right down the sideline goes Wekeser, and it's a first down for Delaware Valley. He was left all alone after going in motion. Yeah. Oh, down the sideline, intercepted. It's a great interception by Caldwell, who's still on his feet. Caldwell down the sideline. Caldwell, can he make Brogan miss? He cannot. The quarterback brings him down, but it will be Bernard's ball for Laverty out of the shotgun. And he will pitch it. And into the end zone. Logan Stevens extends the lead for Bernards. Their second rushing. Nearly 40 years. Make it easy. Choose Autosport Acura of Denville. For sales, service, and a relationship you can rely on, make it easy and choose Autosport Acura of Denville. Attention homeowners. Get ready to meet Brandy Brosian of Compass Real Estate. Brandy wants to sell your home with ease and maximize your return on investment, providing a personalized approach that includes deep cleaning, to staging, to professional digital exposure. Brandy's innovative approach provides so much added value that you and your home will feel the VIP difference. Don't wait another day. Reach out to Brandy Brosian today. Do your glory days as a high school athlete feel far behind you? Are memories of being out there competing so clear that you can feel it? But then reality sets in and your stiff back, achy knees, and painful shoulders remind you that it's been years or even decades since you can move that way. Don't worry, the team at Better With Physical Therapy's one-on-one -on -one customized care can help you feel and move better again. Their specialists will find the cause of what's slowing you down and build a plan that will help you realize that your glory days are still ahead of you. you can get better with better with physical therapy located in the madison ymca request an appointment today at betterwithpt.com dna landscaping we service all of your lawn care needs we are a full service lawn care and landscaping company providing traditional needs such as lawn maintenance planting trimming mulch tree removal and stump grinding as well as landscape design and snow removal. With over 10 years of experience serving Morris and Sussex counties with both residential and commercial properties, call DNA Landscaping at 973-223-5845. 
George J. Keller and Sons want your house to be the kind of home for all to see. Best roofing, windows, siding too. Great solar and gutters, we're here for you. Our seasoned pros are unsurpassed, so give a call, we'll take your task. Transform your home, that's what we do. So give a call, we're here for you. For roofing, siding, windows, and solar, we do it all for you. George J. Keller and Sons. Your family-owned operation since 1980. Call for your free estimate. I enjoy helping nonprofits achieve their goals and really accomplish their mission, namely by nurturing my relationship with them, their staff, their donors, their volunteers, and their board members. I think the key to being trusted is really transparency. What I've seen time and time again is that when you give anything the right conditions, the support, the autonomy, trust, your full attention, it will thrive. This is as true for my clients and for my colleagues as it is for myself here at Bliss. Maximum Health Physical Therapy is an individually owned practice with offices in Bud Lake and Long Valley, New Jersey. Our licensed therapists use hands-on manual therapy and are actively involved in our patients' progress. We use a collaborative team approach which benefits our patients and we accept most insurance plans, including Medicare. We offer ARPWAVE Neurotherapy, which accelerates healing 10 times faster, drastically decreases chronic pain, is FDA approved, and is covered by most insurance companies. Please visit us at Max MaximumHealthPT.com and regain the life you love. At Pasquarella Brothers, we love creating great food for our customers. Everything is made daily using real fresh ingredients and you can taste the difference. We specialize in creating gluten-free options for our customers. All prepared in a separate area so there's no cross-contamination. We also pride ourselves on providing unparalleled catering for events big and small. We love what we do. Stop into Patch Grella Brothers, you'll taste the difference. If you live in Andover, Blairstown, Byram, Frankfurt, Franklin, Frieden, Freelingheisen, Green, Hampton, Hardwick, Hope, Knowlton, Lafayette, Newton, Sparta, Stillwater, Sussex, and Wantage. Planet Networks is building high-speed fiber in your neighborhood. Visit GetPlanetFiber.com today to learn more. Hmm. Huh. And welcome back, second half action, just about to get back underway. But first, we'd like to continue to thank our sponsors for tonight's broadcast. First, Romark Logistics, personalized service always. Pioneers in the supply chain and logistics market. We lead with innovation and best in class talent, while always in touch with the human side of business. Visit romarklogistics.com or call 908-789. 2800 as well as thanking once again Vicaro Aesthetic and Family Dentistry we create beautiful smiles for a lifetime located at 661 Shunpike Road Suite 1 in Greeden Village Chatham New Jersey you can visit them at vicaroaesthetic.com or call 973-377-8811 as well as thanking Jennifer Lyman Kindly Latman and Sotheby's International Realty it has been said that the difference between a good thing and a great thing is attention to detail. That is what you expect from me as your agent. The details in presenting your home may not seem like a big thing, but trust me, they are everything. We have one chance to make a first impression, and you can always count on me to go the extra mile. Call me and let me be the key to the home of your dreams. Call 201-960-5109 or visit jenniferliming.klsir.com. And thank you to all of our sponsors for tonight's broadcast, as well as the Football Booster Clubs for bringing us out here on Morris Sussex Sports. Charlie Brooks, 
alongside Dave McCarthy. A 17-0 Bernard's halftime lead. Dave, what did you see from Bernard's first off? Yeah, I saw a very uh, varied offense. Um, and, you know, and they're not even, to me, they're not even clicking on all cylinders. They're, they're missing their big bruising uh, back, uh, Terrence Hanratty, who's a bit, who um, is out tonight. But um, still, they have a lot of weapons. They, uh, they could, they could uh, uh, kill you with a thousand cuts. Uh, but um, you know, we'll see what happens in the second half. Now, you know, they're they're trying to. To me, they're trying to position. You know, we're starting to get into the playoff season in a couple of weeks. So, you know, in that tough North group too. They're gonna, let's see uh, how they can position themselves. But so far, the good first half. Meanwhile, for Delaware Valley. The two turnovers hurt them. The blocked punt hurt them. What do they need to do in this second half to keep themselves within shouting distance yeah. of Bernard's and give themselves a chance at the end? Yeah, I mean, as, as good as Bernard's has played, it's, all, it's still only 17 nothing. So, you know, Del Val is going to have a chance. Another uh, half, half to go, 24 minutes to go. And they've done some things. They've moved the ball uh, uh, somewhat, you know, in spurts. But... Just got to, to me, they got to make a big play here. You know, they, they got to start creating some turnovers on, on their end. So, This, of course, a big Central Conference Patriot Gold Division matchup between these two sides. Two of the top teams in this division as that ball hits the returner, who picks it up. And it's a good return on the kickoff. Still on his feet, brought down at the 40-yard line. It's a fantastic Jay return Caldwell to start this returns. second half by who else? But Caldwell, a player who had a fantastic Five, first half. Caldwell, very speedy kid. He has a good combination of speed and quickness, and uh, he's been a big first play kid for them tonight. For at the 40. Caldwell, Caldwell with a rushing touchdown to open the scoring, as well as an interception that set up the second touchdown of the game. So he's been involved in one way or another in this in almost entirely scoring for the Bernard's Mountaineers as their offense comes back out with Connor Laverty and behind him is Logan Stevens. And in motion is Caldwell, Laverty. Thought about going deep, slipped for a second, and because he slipped, the defense catches up to him, and it, he is slammed to the ground by Ifiani Ekalui Day. Apologies if I mispronounced that one, that's, but that's a heck of a job right there, with, uh, Charlie. But um, that, that was a good good job in coverage by the uh, by the Delval secondary. Uh, uh, Laverty didn't have any. Um, open man there and good job good job uh, corralling him because he, he's a good scrambler yeah really good job by the defensive line for the Delaware Valley Terriers a big loss on first down a loss of nine as they try and get back to around the sticks a good run up the middle by Stevens and it'll bring up Logan still a third and long maybe a third and 13 after a gain of six. Good job there. Little downfield, big number 71 on that, on that tackle. A little uh, attracted ball carrier down there for Bernard's. You're not going to try that name like I, I did? I am not, not going <laughs> to try to pronounce a name. I don't. <laughs> of course, I'll, we try our best on Morris Sussex I'll, Sports. I'll leave that to you. You're, you're the professional. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll go for it. Third and long now for Bernard's. The throw off the hands of the intended receiver. Not a bad throw there by Laverty, but unable to be reeled in by the number 13 of Brandon Schaefer. Yeah, considering Lafferty was under duress, uh, uh, got the ball off nicely. Just uh, a little a little high, a little um, tough to corral for, um, who was that for uh, Bernard's? And Del Val defense stepped up on that on that drive. Got some pressure, much needed pressure to. Uh... Whistle before the snap. I don't see. It. Oh, there is a flag. I wonder if maybe too many men. Let's see what the call is. 
It indeed is too many men on the field going against Delaware Valley. They ran a player off just before that snap, but I think they still had 12 players. Now they have 11 after a player substituted out. So the punt just gets away. And there's nobody back to help the Terrier player who's taken down at the 30 yard line. Everyone went for the punt and it left the punt returner all by himself as Poland was tackled by a swarm of Mountaineers. First down for the Terriers at the 30. So 10 minutes left in the third quarter, a three and out on the first possession of the second half from the Mountaineers. So we'll see what the Terriers can do offensively. Down 17, nothing. They've had some good drives so far today. Luke Brogan has had some really good throws, especially to Clemmer, but need to clean up those turnovers if they want a chance. Yeah, they, they've shown some flashes on offense for sure. Um, they, just have to, they haven't sustained, you know, either turn, you know, turnover or penalty. So it's a big, big opening drive here to try to set the tone for the second half. Brogan under center, drops back, and is thrown to the ground. That is a great play. Luke Brogan dropped for a loss. Looks like Ryan Collar was there for the big By sack. Twenty, yeah, Ferguson. I'm oh, sorry, uh, that's Ferguson. Yeah. yeah. 24, not 34. From his outside backer position there, just did a good job uh, defeating the block and uh, Second down just and closing in on uh, Brogan uh, rapidly. Delaware Valley trying to go quickly on that pass to the outside, but Weckeser unable to get away from the tackle, and it's third and very long that's coming up. That Bernard's defense is, is quick. Every time you think there's a little uh, you know open space for, for the offense, man, that, that closes quickly. I'm, I'm impressed. They get a lot of uh, uh, hats around the ball. Third and 18 coming up for the Third offense. Desperately needing to get the offense the going ball. in this divisional matchup on the road in Bernardsville, New Jersey. Live here on Morris Sussex Sports. We thank you, of course, for tuning in. No players in the backfield. Man in motion. Brogan takes a snap, goes quickly, and immediately swarmed was Clemmer. And that drive only went backwards. Fourth down, and Delaware Valley will be forced to punt it away. Yeah, Del Val is trying to get trying to get their you know um, offensive playmakers in space, but Bernard's defense just too fast. I mean, before, in, in a blink of an eye, it was about three three or four uh, uh, Bernard's jerseys uh, all around the ball. That is a testament to this defense and the way that they are coached. Is this punt may have been partially deflected again, and it's a really good field position for Bernard's. Some special teams trouble for Delaware Valley again. Field position, again, Burners are going to have great field position here to start uh, this drive. Looks like be about on the 22, 23. They mark it on the Delaware Valley 23-yard line, it looks like. The third drive, the Bernards has started with field position in and around this area. Of course, they had one after an, a blocked punt that then went nowhere, and they were forced to take a field goal when they started at the 10 in that first half, second quarter. They did score a touchdown, so let's see what they can do. Back to pass, under pressure, rolling out, and getting to the sideline, cutting it upfield and taking the big hit instead of going out of bounds was Laverty. 
Yeah, that was a big hit. That that uh, Laverty is a terrific runner, but um, that's a play as a quarterback. Some, you need to be smart and get out of bounds. Sometimes the uh, discretion is the better part of valor. You know, just got to step out of bounds. They gave him five second yards five. on that play, so second and five. Of course, no penalty on that play as once the quarterback gets out of the pocket and starts running, it's fair game for the defense. Yeah, it, was, it was a clean, clean hit. Second and five from the Delaware Valley 18. Ball is handed off up the middle and picking up the first down and trying to churn his legs for a little bit more was Carlisle. Let's see, they, they might not give him the first down actually. It's very close to the line to gain. They'll say third and inches actually. Wow, that's about as close as you could get. That's, yeah. Third down. Wow. Literally inches away. Laverty had the shotgun, now goes under center, and a flag. Yeah, that's illegal motion. Illegal motion. Illegal motion. Called against the offense, trying to catch the defense sleeping and going a little bit too quickly there was Laverty. So all of a sudden, third and inches becomes third and six from the opposing 14-yard line in plus territory. Laverty in the Third offense down. all look down at their wristbands for the play call. They're in field goal range. Carlisle the running back next to Laverty. Laverty rolls out, throws it, and it's caught. And able to fall forwards, it's a first down and a first and goal coming up for Bernards. Nice, they, they love, La Laverty loves throwing um, on the run, on, on the rollouts, and um, just made it look easy on that. Easy, made it look like an easy first down. First down. Max Austin oh, with the reception that time, it's That's first and goal from the nine. An offense that is already scored from inside the red zone today. Handoff up the middle. Carlisle pushes a man down, and Carlisle adds his name to the score sheet. Three touchdowns, three different rushers on rushing touchdowns tonight for Bernards. The freshman Carlisle has a bright future. Looks like a good back there. You, uh, really read his blocks well, and um, it's tough that uh, Bernards' offense is starting to roll now. Tough to stop. Carlisle with a little bit of a stiff arm to get a player out of the way. Over 100 rushing yards in their five games now and a third touchdown of the season for Carlisle. As the kicker is on for the extra point, trying to make it 24-0. And it's blocked. And a great job by the holder to just get back onto it and prevent the, the special team blocked. from returning it all the way, but the, score, the blocked kick earlier from Delaware Bernard's Valley and it's reciprocated is by the Delaware Valley special teams unit. Keep it 23 nothing. But you look at this offense for Bernard's, a field goal and a rushing touchdown for Caldwell, a rushing touchdown for Carlisle and a rushing touchdown for Logan Stevens. It was Stevens' fifth of the season for Caldwell and Carlisle, each of their third rushing touchdowns this year. They do a, Coach uh, S Simino does a great job of just varying that offense. A lot of, a lot of uh, uh, different uh, uh, players uh, get touches. And as you mentioned, they're doing this without hey, Hanratty, who's well, one of their running yep. backs yep. in that rotation as well. Yep. He's their big bruiser, 210 pound uh, junior. Attempt return and taken down at the 20 is the Delaware Valley man. Poland was trying to get a good return there, but he's tackled. And now down 23, nothing, this is time for the offense to try and stop yeah. the bleeding. Yeah, this is, uh, uh, Delval's in a tough um, tough spot here. You know, they're, they're 
going to force to go to the air uh, most of the time here with time becoming a factor and um, that Bernard's defense has been opportunistic all, all season. Of course, it is teal out night tonight in Bernardsville, New Jersey. That's why these different journeys are on for Bernard's wearing that teal for ovarian cancer awareness as that play was stopped at quarterback keeper. And from what well, we heard, these are jerseys specifically made for this event, for this occasion, which is really nice for them to go that extra step and make the jerseys, all, of course, everything going towards ovarian cancer awareness. One of our big sponsors tonight, of course, going towards that. We hope everyone who, who is able to is able to donate. Yeah, it's for a great cause and a ni ni nice job by the Bernards community. Pressure on the quarterback, getting away for Wekeser. Trying to get some space, he gets about five yards. And it'll bring up a third and five for Delaware Valley. Again, that, that Berners defense, just a swarming type of defense. Not, 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 the, not the state's biggest defense by any means, but man, they are, they are quick. And it's something that we've seen throughout this fall season here on Morris Sussex Sports, whether it be in Morris County, Sussex County, Essex. We've been all over the place, Union as well. And you're seeing a lot of really good defenses this year, especially around New Jersey high school football. And it's a testament to some of these coaches, some of these programs that they are able to show what they've shown on defenses. That pass is incomplete. There's a flag though. Yeah. It was close. I mean, it was, Good coverage, they just felt a little too much contact there. Pass interference called against the defense, so a new set of downs for Delaware Valley, and let's just say the home crowd not too happy about that call. Well, you know, they've had a good night so far, not, not, not too much to be unhappy about, so. Uh... Never easy on those bang bang plays as an official. 15 yard penalty puts the ball at the 40 yard line. Of course, down, officials have Delaware one of the hardest jobs in football trying to make those calls in real time. Is it's a direct snap to the quarterback and he has some space. Brogan picks up the first down. The he hasn't shown his legs About too much five, tonight, five, but. Brogan is one of the leading rushers he, on this Delaware Valley team. Yeah, he can run. That, 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 he showed me some speed on that. And, you know, he's 6'3", 200 pounds, so he's not a small kid. And um, they needed that. They, they really need to move the chains and get something going here. Nice, nice run by Brogan. Sometimes he just need to go deep into that playbook to get something going, especially after that defensive pass interference call to continue the momentum to keep moving offensively. That's a great job there by Brogan. Over 600 yards passing, just under 200 yards rushing coming into this one for the quarterback as he will go to the ground again, wow. but yeah. he was stopped nice. right away by the defensive line. Yeah. It looked like the number 67 of David Silva was yeah. there waiting so for him, and because Silva was there, he had to take a couple steps backwards and that allowed the defense to catch up. Silva did a great job on that. He did not want to stay blocked. He used the classic under tuck move and uh, he, he swooped in and finished off the play there. Second down, second down and 11. Sometimes it's not the players that get credited for the tackles that are the important ones. Sometimes it's the player who's there at the right spot at the right time to slow down the quarterback. Because Broken had space if he got away and, from Silva. And, and, as, and as he uh, showed on the previous play, Broken has some wheels. So it was a nice play by Silva. Broken looking to pass this time. Okay, but there's yeah. the defense again. Yeah. A huge sack yeah. by those two players on yeah. defense. The leading uh, sack guy in the year, David Brothers, I think came up big again there. Brothers and Marks show here on uh, defense. 
And that's a tough play for Broken because you're rolling to the outside trying to wait for your offensive players to get away from their defenders. But when the defense is there right away, there's no way for the play to develop. And now all of a sudden, a, a second and 11 turns into third and 19 back on their own 44 yard line. Broken, who has the arm strength to get it deep, throws it, and Poland had it hit his hands, but unable to haul it in and fourth down and long. The punting unit will come back out Defense wins championships. Defense wins divisional titles. And right now it's defense that is winning this game for Bernards. Good throw on that long, looked like a long in. Uh, um, Brogan has a nice arm strength as, as we've seen, but good pass break up there by the Bernards defense. See if the punt can get away this time. It does, that's a good punt. Caught and hit. Caldwell. That was Caldwell trying to return it. Maybe he should have done the fair catch in that situation, though. You want to protect that ball at this point in the game, so it's... Good job in uh, uh, coverage there by DelVal. Bernards with a couple of turnovers today. The opening drive interception by DeSabado. Caldwell has an interception to his name. They forced some sacks and pass breakups in the end zone. It's been a really good defensive performance and the offense has helped as well as Caldwell takes the jet sweep handoff. Looking for the outside, Caldwell down the sideline. Caldwell cuts it back into the tackle, but it's a great run stopped by Clemmer in the end. There's a flag though back at the original line of scrimmage. This one is coming back it seems. Big play, Mr. Caldwell there. Yep, weaving in and out of traffic. Showing, look like a uh, high school version of um, Christian McCaffrey. You could see Some on their the moves. You could see on the replay there. It was Sim Pecchia, the number 16 for Delaware Valley, that was held. So a really big pickup there for Caldwell, but they'll move this ball back to about to felt from the line of scrimmage. So not exactly 10 yards back but that's debilitating. Seven yards backwards instead of being all the way downfield. Yeah, that costly penalty for uh, Bernard's that. Offense wasn't ready. They were struggling to get that play call translated to everyone. So they will take the time out with 24 seconds left and we will once again take this time to thank some of our sponsors for tonight's broadcast. Of course, I mentioned it earlier, today is Teal Out Day in support of ovarian cancer awareness. Please visit f4mmc.org or to donate, scan the QR code on the screen when the ad pops up. Enter Friday Night Lights in the optional comment section and scroll to Women's Cancer Fund in the designation section. All donations benefit the Women's Cancer Fund at the foundation for Morristown Medical Center feel it and teal it this September as well as the bearded dragon the bearded dragon is your ultimate destination for games and gaming located at 123 Claremont Road in Bernardsville New Jersey call 908-502-5112 or visit the bearded dragon games.com as well as Jay Walker salon look good feel fabulous when your outer looks good your inner feels better Locations in Bernardsville, Basking Ridge, and Mendham. Visit jwalkersalon.com. So a second and, or first and 17, apologies, after that hold and timeout called by Bernards. Man comes right up the middle and able to throw it away. There's a man in the area, so a good job by Laverty to avoid the sack and will not be penalized either as he did have a player in the vicinity. Heads up play by Laverty. He, he's a very heady uh, QB. Eden Gribben was the player 
in the area closest. Second down. And Good job with pressure by uh, the DelVal defense there. They. Uh, Second and long, the pitch. And this is an opportunity for a big play to get yardage back. As Logan Stevens is brought down a yard short, a 16 yard gain for Stevens and it's third and one. Nice pick up, good, good job um, blocking here by Bernards. That will do it for the third quarter. We will head to the fourth. Burner is trying to close out this one at home, currently leading 23-0. Eventually became an adjunct professor teaching tax, and I also became a Zumba instructor as a way of overcoming this fear of mine. They're both forms of leading and teaching in their own right. Bottom line though, WIS supports my passions. I truly believe that WIS wants me to be the best version of myself, and it's such an amazing feeling that I truly have the freedom to do that here. I was born fast. Parisi made me faster. I thought I could jump. Parisi brought me to new heights. I wasn't always quick. Parisi made me lightning fast. Strength was never my strength. Parisi changed all that. And we are back, third and one coming up for the Bernards Mountaineers, up 23-0 at home. The snap, the handoff, and just able to get the first down there on the carry. A good job by the offense as Stevens, or sorry, that's not Stevens, that is Carlisle picking up the first. Yeah, good, good surge, just, just enough for the first, good, good spot. Sorry, so even though they did not have Good for a first down. Henratty for that play, that's the play you would like him to be on the field. They were able to bring in Carlisle, the freshman, listed at 5'8", 180, and he picks up the first they, down. They have a lot of weapons at Bernard's offense. This time it's Stevens in the backfield, and it's a quarterback option. Keeps a hold of it and gains one somehow. That's a great play by Laverty as that could have been a loss of about five. Instead, picks up one. Great, shows a great football IQ. Really has great field aware, uh, awareness of the you know, situational awareness. And uh, impressive young QB. You could see why he's completing 70% of his passes with uh, no interceptions on the year. Laverty with Stevens behind him. Came into this game with 536 pass yards, six touchdowns on through the air, five touchdowns on the ground for Laverty. Although he hasn't really shown his legs too much tonight as his running backs have done that job for him. As Laverty's back to pass down the sideline, it's a deep one and it's caught. Yeah. Inside the red zone, a big catch by Jack Mora. Yeah. There's the arm strength for Laverty. Yeah, I mean, he really, uh, but, uh, coming back here. Jack there was a flag on the play. Penalty flag down. Heck of a throw. I mean, you can see his pinpoint accuracy, Holding you know, all the way downfield. He's completing 70% for a reason, but, uh, Looks like it's coming back. It was a hold called against the offense. Was ready to give Laverty that crown. Burners. Even though it doesn't count, that's still a yeah, great a showcase of his arm. Beautiful play. He has, could really uh, sling that ball downfield. The whole crowd were cheering as well. Coach Simino. <laughs> I'm sure he would have been happy if there wasn't the flag there, but yeah. second down and twenty. And you know, second and twenty coming thing up. Thing is, it's twenty-three zip here right now, and um, there's been you know times that uh, Burners look a little sloppy with the penalties. 
They're sloppy again with a penalty. That is a false start called against the offense instead of a huge passing play that would have gotten them inside the red zone just outside of the 10 yard line. Instead, they're just walking backwards at this point. Pins back to now to their own 28. Ball at the 28. And I'm sure Coach Laverty, or Coach Simino, I should say. Laverty seems like a coach the way that he He's runs this offense. Like a coach on the field. As the play clock ran out. And that will move them back another five yards, delay a game yeah, called they're... against Bernard's. Well, that, that's a scary thing to me. If, 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 if you're the, um, you know, uh, uh, remaining opponents for uh, Bernard's, they're, they're, looks like they're not even on all cylinders right now and they're, and they're still up 23 nothing. Still second down. Nine minutes left in the game. A delay of game penalty makes it second and 30. So a, a huge pass called back by a hold. Then there's a false start. Then there's a delay of game, as you mentioned, not hitting on full, si full cylinders, yet they're up. Oh, Ooh, uh, almost intercepted Ooh. by Poland. Yeah. Yet they're still up 23 nothing. Poland was there, he deflected it almost yeah, into the arms of his teammate. Good job there, good, good coverage. Had a good, uh, for got a good step there where the ball was in the air and batted it down. This is a, a large Bernard's Third football down. team. I think I counted over 70 Third players on their official roster. So it's the depth that will kill you with this team. For a group two. Third and 30, rolling to the outside, trying to make things himself and just getting some yardage back on that run was Laverty. You're never gonna pick up third and 30, at least it's maybe a 10% chance of picking up third and 30. So that's a smart play by Laverty. Hold on to it himself, get a couple of yards back and allow your punter to come on and switch the field. Fourth down. Late substitutions for Delaware Valley, and they're going to have to take a timeout. They brought too many players on the field. Timeout called by Delaware Valley. Before the coach took that timeout there, I counted 13 players on the field. So that's there's that's some miscommunication <laughs> on special teams. Yeah. yeah. Of course, the last punt that Bernard's had, there was a, a 12 men on the field. Penalty called against Delaware Valley. So that's an area where it's coming into late in the season. If you want to get in that maybe number two spot in the division, there's certainly things from this Both. game you're going to want to improve on. I, I think they've played a good game, though. Offensively, they're, they're driving at times. The interceptions have worked against them, but in no way are they getting blown out. No. It, it's really some of those well, mental things they're getting them both teams definitely have some you know things that, that they have they're gonna have to clean up special teams being one of them trying to get after the punter again this one will be bouncing Poland what is he doing he comes back to pick it up not always encouraged as a punt returner to run after the ball when it's bouncing away but Poland went and picked it up, and it'll be ball for Delaware Valley at about yeah. the 25. Poland trying to make a play, you know. They're, they're, you know, Del Val's in you know desperation mode here with uh, under nine minutes left, and uh, trying to make a play. But that first down. I mean, I'm not wrong there. One of the yeah. things you're taught on yeah. as a punt yeah. returner, special teams. Yeah. Once that ball starts Should rolling and stay, it's past stay you, stay away from it. Stay, stay away. away from it because it could bounce off you and then. For this Bernard's team, their next game next weekend at North Plainfield. Wow. 
as they're blown up in the backfield again as Poland is taken that's, down. That's Mr. Ferguson again. It's Ferguson, Another yeah. nice play off the edge there, showing a nice burst off the snap. Nice job. Loss of five. Second down and 15. This has been quite the performance from Bernard's tonight, defensively especially. Just clicking on all cylinders. Smothering, opportunistic, swarming defense is the best way to describe them. Last year, these two teams finished one and two in the Patriot Gold Division. Bernard's were four and oh in division. Delaware Valley three and one. The only difference last year was when these two teams played. Meanwhile, talking about upcoming schedules for Delaware Valley, of course they will want to bounce back after this one, get the offense rolling again. This will, unless something happens the last eight minutes, it will bring them down to a two game losing streak heading into their game next Friday, home versus Bound Brook, which should be a chance for them to get back still, still into a lot of winning ways. But there, still there's a still a lot of football, football left. Yeah. Yes, there is. Yeah. For the big picture, for, for Bernard's, I'm, I'm looking at the, the, the North Group 2, which is a murderer's row uh, uh, a group. That, I mean, you got the Westwoods and the Caldwells who won it all this year, the Rutherfords, the Newtons, the Lynnhursts. So it's a very tough uh, group as we, you know, Steam towards the playoffs in uh, a month from now. Back to pass that one a little bit over by Brogan. And it'll bring up Brogan's third and 15. A position they've been in a little bit too much for their liking. Although I've really, the one positive I think you can take out of this game for Delaware Valley is Brogan is showing an arm. He is definitely a very good quarterback talent. He's been running this offense well. Some ill-advised throws that have resulted in interceptions, especially his second interception into a double team. But overall, he's been running this offense well. They've been driving it a couple of times. Nothing really bad that you can say about Brogan. No, he sh shows a big time arm. He could fit, fit those uh, you know, passes into tight, tight spots there. Um, good all around athlete, good basketball player, so. Third and 15, pressure comes, and Broken is taken down behind the line of scrimmage. Another sack. Add that to the tally. Bernards have been all over Brogan. And that old, that old line for Del Val has been, you know, strength of uh, theirs uh, this season, but that's getting a lot of pressure, uh, Bernards, tonight. Fourth down and 20. It's been a good offensive line, but it's been a better defensive line for Bernard so far tonight. Trying to get the punt away, just gets it out of there before the onrushers. Oh. And that should have been a fair catch. Caldwell just, was just... Just to hold on to that was, a, was a, yeah, a tremendous job. I mean, wow, just to hold on to that uh, punt. Man. So maybe First both down. punt returners will need to uh, rem remember, throw your arm up, avoid those hits. Those are unnecessary, and that's especially up 23 nothing for Caldwell. That's the situation. You throw your arm up, you, you wave the white flag per se, and you right. you, you, you let your offense get out on the if, field. If you're Bernard's, you don't want to cause any you know uh, uh, play that uh, any uh, big play for Del Delval that could uh, get them back in this game. As the Bernard's offense comes back out onto the field up, 23-0. The handoff up the middle. And picking up a gain of about three is Carlisle. Patrick Carlisle on the carry. Getting a good surge there. That, that uh, interior of the Del Val line looks like it could be getting a little tired now deep into the fourth quarter. Not made by a Kubi. And it's really tough for this defensive line, these yeah. linebackers, the whole field, because it is such a deep running back position for this Bernard's team.
They can bring Caldwell. They can bring Carlisle. They can bring multiple players into that backfield. So they're all staying really fit. And it makes it tough for a defensive line to keep after running backs who in the fourth quarter are still feeling good. Yep. They're not tired. Laverty pitches it to Carlisle. Looking for the edge. And had it for a second. Is able to pick up about three oh, or four. Okay. And picks up, brings up a third and short. Yeah, good, good job of the DelVal defense. Stringing that out. Not, not letting uh, Carlisle uh, 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 gain that edge. Olcott in on the play again. He really, he really a sideline to sideline defender. Very impressive defender for uh, DelVal. Heart and soul of that defense. One of the better uh, 190, 215 pound wrestlers in the state. That's how you know that Dave McCarthy does his research, folks. He knows about more than just the football. He knows about the wrestling, too. As a third and four coming up for Bernard. It's up 23-0 at home. The handoff up the middle and able to pick up a first down and Logan keep it moving Stevens. is Logan Stevens. Keep those chains moving. That's what Bernard wants to do. Bleed that clock now. That's the other big thing. Bleed the clock, keep the chains moving, and yeah, this game is essentially down. done. Yeah, that Delval defense has been on the field a long time tonight, it seems. So, Given a valiant effort, you know, I don't want to take anything away from the Delval defense. They've, you know, it's just that that burn as offense could, could hit you in a lot of ways, a lot of different directions. It's another handoff to Stevens. Does he have the angle? He does. And Stevens, for the second time tonight, reaches the end zone and makes this game an even bigger lead, 29-0. And that's what happens when the defense is on the field for so long. Nice trap there by the interior of the uh, Bernard's line. They have what it is. They have, because they use a lot of different backs, so these, these backs have fresh legs deep into the fourth quarter, so it's very noticeable. So use a lot of different players. Making our job hard tonight for who's going to be our player of the game. As we'll take this little bit of an interval to thank our sponsors one last time. We'd like to thank Romark Logistics. Personalized service, always. Pioneers in the supply chain and logistics market. We lead with innovation and best-in-class talent, while always in touch with the human side of business. Visit RomarkLogistics.com or call 908-789-2800 as well as Vaccaro Aesthetics and Family Dentistry. We create beautiful smiles for a lifetime. Located at 661 Shunpike Road, Suite 1, in Green Village, Chatham, New Jersey. Visit VaccaroAesthetic.com. And Jennifer Liming, Kynlin Latman, and Sotheby's International Realty. It's been said that the difference between a good thing and a great thing is attention to detail. That is what you can expect from me as your agent. The details in presenting your home may not seem like a big thing, but trust me, they're everything. We have one chance to make a first impression, and you can always count on me to go the extra mile. Call me and let me be the key to the home of your dreams. 201-960-5109. As here's a return for Delaware Valley. Of course, you can always visit them as well at jenniferliming.klsir.com. So a big thanks to all of our sponsors for tonight, as well as the Booster Clubs, both schools, and everyone that has allowed us to come out tonight. We will, at the end of this game, announce our Jen Basilino and Kosher Real Estate Group Player of the Game. It's going to be a tough one. There's a couple of Bernard's players there in that discussion. We'll have to take a, a quick break, I'm sure, discuss it between the two of us it's, it's a, after uh, the game. It's a close vote, that's for sure. 
several uh, players in contention. Brogan under center, hands this one off. Haven't seen much of the run game so far for the visitors, but of course that'll happen to you when you're trailing by as much as they are is obviously it becomes pass heavy when you're trailing. And subsequently, uh, Bernards could just pin their ears back and, and go after uh, Brogan. Gain of three yards on the play, second down. Gain of three seven. yards on first down as Brogan will line up under center again. The last rush by Poland, who is once again lined up in that running back position. Poland takes the handoff again. There's no hole. The defensive line has won the game. So far for Bernards. They lead 30 to zero in a third and seven coming up with three minutes left in the game. And Thomas Damar, number 89. Crowd appreciating the defensive line for Bernards. One of many things this crowd has been appreciating throughout the night. Good crowd here. I'm impressed with the, with the crowd and Bernard's. It's a fun atmosphere, packed house. I mean, listen, high school football in New Jersey, it, it's a big it's deal. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. One of the best in the, in the nation. As there's a good passing catch. That's complete to Holdsworth. Holdsworth with the reception for Delaware Valley, down. a name that we haven't That's said that much one. tonight, but a good play moving the sticks for Delaware Valley with just over two minutes left. Charlie Brooks and Dave McCarthy, your broadcasters tonight on Morris Sussex Sports. Brogan back to pass again to the sideline and it's caught. So the offense doing a good job on this drive, especially through the air. That was Clemmer on the side, or sorry, not Clemmer, that was Holdsworth again. My apologies. With under two minutes to go in this Friday night lights game. Teal out night in Bernardsville, New Jersey. From the 47. And the team wearing the teal will walk out still undefeated as that throw is caught once again at the sideline. Once again by Holdsworth. Yeah, nice, nice long out there by a nice 10 yard out. Throws it on a rope. Delaware Valley looking to score some points before the end of this game with one minute left. They need to go quickly if they do want to avoid the shutout. They've scored in each of their first three games. Bernard will be 5 and 0. Bernards will move to 5-0 and this season. Delaware Valley down to 2-2. Two and two. And a big meeting with North Plainfield next Friday for this Bernard side is broken. Back to pass. Brings it down. Picks up some good yardage and will be hit at the 35, just about a yard short. As I believe a timeout, no, no timeout was called to so the Play clock is still running with 20 seconds left. Is there one more play in this Delaware Valley side? Can they maybe take a shot to the end zone? Delaware Valley still two. fighting. You know, they want to get on that scoreboard. They're, they're uh, still giving it their all here. This will be the last play of the game. Blitz coming, throw to the end zone, and it's dropped. There's one second left, and now it will come off the clock. And that will do it on teal out night in Bernardsville, New Jersey. The Bernards Mountaineers shut out the Delaware Valley Terriers 30 to nothing. We'll take a, a short little break. We'll discuss our player of the game and then we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere, folks. You have to wait and see who wins player of the game. represents all we are called to. Let's go! We
strive for excellence in mind, body, and spirit. We put in the work in programs that test us, guide us to the colleges we pursue. We live true to putting others before ourselves, to the lifelong connections we've made. This is the spirit and strength we are called to. Roll Wave. Sussex Meatpacking in Wharton, New Jersey is a family-owned and operated business specializing in USDA prime and choice meats, pork, poultry, lamb, veal, and many other store-made specialty items. They also have a fantastic deli, a wonderful market with all the freshest fruits. And we are back after much discussion between me and Dave McCarthy, my color commentator, are Jen Vaselino and Kosha Real Estate Group, Just a reminder, player of the game. game, it's the number three Long of Jake Caldwell, the senior Will running back and cornerback with a touchdown and an interception that set up a second touchdown field. of the game at the yeah. time, made it a 17-0 lead. Of course, honorable mention, Logan Stevens. Connor Honorable Laverty, mention, Patrick could, Carlisle. Patrick Carlisle. Laverty Connor had Laverty a really good game. Could, was in so many. Uh, yeah. That's why yeah, it was a genuine discussion and, between us. And that goes to the fact why they're 5-0 and right now. They so, are. Jake Caldwell, your player of the game. Make sure you go to Morris Sussex Sports Instagram page. At some point, that interview will be posted there. So keep an eye on that. That will do it for us tonight on Morris Sussex Sports. For our producer and everyone back at the home base, as they like to call it, I am Charlie Brooks alongside Dave McCarthy tonight. Everybody, enjoy the rest of your Friday. Enjoy your weekend. And keep an eye on more Sussex Sports. We will continue to be out there. We'll be continuing to call games. And we'll be continuing to be the great more Sussex Sports that we are. Thank you again, everyone, for tuning in. Saying so long from Bernardsville, New Jersey. set of downs handoff to Stevens pushing forward and Stevens still on his feet taken down on the Delaware Valley 49 a big run there by third and 22 for Bernard's man in motion and it's a keeper and losing the ball who's got it it looks like Laverty was able to recover it himself. Here, totally a few points. Jonas Gonzalez lining up for the field goal. The kick is up. Plenty of leg. Is it good? It is. Nice kick. It's a 10 0 lead for Bernard's at home. So although the drive may have sputtered, there's still points on the scoreboard for the Burke. Man in motion. And it will roll the other way. Almost sacked, but throws a his body and the man is wide open right down the sideline goes Wekeser and it's a first down for Delaware Valley he was left all alone after going in motion oh, down the sideline intercepted it's a great interception by Caldwell who's still on his feet Caldwell down the sideline Caldwell can he make 
broken miss. He cannot. The quarterback brings him down. But it will be Bernard's ball. Laverty out of the shotgun. And he will pitch it. So, it's a big, big opening drive here to try to set the tone for the second half. Brogan under center, drops back, and is thrown to the ground. That is a great play. And offense says, already scored from inside the red zone today. Handoff up the middle, Carlisle pushes the man down, and Carlisle adds his name to the score sheet. Three touchdowns, three different rushers. In football, trying to make those calls in real time. It's a direct snap to the quarterback, and he has some space. Broken picks up the first down. He hasn't shown his legs too much tonight, but Brogan is one of the leading rushers. It's been a really good defensive performance, and the offense has helped as well as Caldwell takes the jet sweep handoff. Looking for the outside. Caldwell down the sideline. Caldwell cuts it back into the tackle, but it's a great run stopped by Clemmer in the end. There's a flag, though, back at the original line of script. Second and long, the pitch, and this is an opportunity for a big play to get yardage back as Logan Stevens is brought down a yard short, a 16-yard gain for Stevens. Big touchdowns on the ground for Laverty, although he hasn't really shown his legs too much tonight as his running backs have done that job for him as Laverty's back to pass down the sideline. It's a deep one. And it's I'm impressed with the, with the crowd in Bernard's. It's a fun atmosphere, packed house. I mean, listen, high school football in New Jersey, it, it's a big deal. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. One of the best in the, in the nation. As there's a good pass and catch. Teal out night in Bernardsville, New Jersey. And the team wearing the teal will walk out still undefeated as that throw is caught once again at the sideline once again by Holdsworth. Nice, nice. 